I don't know if I am ever gonna make a million dollar and never work in IT again. Oh, pray for me, my friends. Well, that was a joke. I really don't know when am I gonna do that. I mean, everybody wants that, right? Hey guys, today I want to talk about something that uh, I got an email from you. Some of you guys, I got an email. First of all, don't mind the noise. There's a lot of noise going on uh, right now. So forgive me for that. And let's talk about the email that we got um, recently about how quickly should we change the entry level job and what are the advantages, disadvantages, and what should we look for? Now, it's a tricky question. You probably would know better than me, but I'm going to give you some advice and maybe it will work for you. Maybe it might not work for you, so you have to do your search again. So, my suggestion on this is like this. If you are um, moving up to another area, meaning you're going from help desk to system admin or maybe advanced level positions, see if this is a position that is going to, um, you know, if it's going to be helpful in a way that, um, you know, what, what the company that you're moving, what what are their benefits compared to the company that you're working for? Uh, look at the commute, the whole commute between the company that you're going to and, uh, and the other company. I'm just going to give you one simple example that if you're going to a company right now and they're paying you $55,000, another company is giving you $65,000, $10,000 difference. And if you're going to work one hour every day to the new company and two hours at four o'clock in a rush hour and the stress level is so high, then you need to consider that $10,000. Is it really worth it? Now, of course, if you have that in your mind that, look, you're going to go and learn something new and then move from there and that's fine. It's up to you. Like I said, it's up to you. It's how much you can take because stress can change everything. Trust me. So here's the thing. Um, another thing that I would suggest is that um, look for the education also. Is this company providing education, meaning to I mean bachelors, masters? Is the other company doing that? If they're not doing that, you're. I mean, that ten thousand dollar would not make a big difference. And if they are not going to do that, imagine the time that you're spending to troubleshoot and things like that. You probably know that that company, compared to this fifty five thousand dollars, is not a good choice. Now a lot of people. Uh, will do this for experience which is fine and that depends on uh, what your financial situation is you could be uh, you know uh, running a whole family and you don't have that choice you cannot just you know go aggressively like that you could be young and maybe you're you have that choice you have a lot of people that are helping in and you're doing your own thing at the same time so yes you can take some aggressive steps to move around and look for more opportunities and things like that um, so it is a very tricky uh, uh, way to do this. I mean, everybody, like you have to kind of look at yourself and see, you know, this this is where I am. These are the, these are my benefits. I'm taking a full benefit out of this. Make sure you go to HR and know your education policies and everything. So you see, you can you can take advantage of even in this $55,000, you can have that everything going on. But if you see that other company have everything good, then of course it's no brainer you need to just move on and you know take that step that's fine sometimes in life you have to take steps to find something new so that is kind of like you know my advice to anyone that sent me an email that what would I do you know if I have situation so I would look for three things do they support education uh, the commute uh, between uh, the new place and then coming back to your work or your home versus this company and the difference of the amount between this company and the other company is it worth it that is the whole key and the time that people ask how much should we spend in entry-level position I think it's six months it's pretty much like you know everybody would agree with that unless you're too good and you can learn everything like that and so you can move I mean more I mean in three months it's up to you depending on opportunity again I'm not gonna say just stick to my words study yourself study your environment and see that can you do this make sure you go around wherever you're moving now let's say for example you're brand new to IT you just started in a, in, a, in a company this is should be your goal from the beginning that you are here and in your mind you're moving up and that's what I'm saying maybe you're moving up then you need to look for what what is your best like what's your area that you love 
you could like programming maybe you like security maybe you like networking cisco stuff maybe you would like something like you know uh, total microsoft servers all that desktops group policy kind of things linux maybe you like that maybe web servers web development maybe you will totally change your your mind after help this because help this person works with everybody you know so that's the whole power of help you could be probably working in help this as a specialist but you can move with like there's a tiers like probably third is the last tier you would make nice money in washington dc around this area for seventy five thousand dollars and i don't think it's going to go max than that unless somebody wants to pay more uh, i don't know uh, so that's kind of like the max in this and then you move up 80 85 100 and depends you know where what's your speciality and experience is so study that you know w look at these people look at their lifestyle you and ask them probably ask them like hey can tell me about yourself so kind of like find out what's their normal lifestyle is is this what you want because you could spend probably a few years and find out later on that hundred thousand dollars is actually not worth it there's a study done that new study done that it's not about money these days you know a lot of people them in dc area right now they're making good money in dc average people needs to make hundred thousand dollars to kind of survive in that area like the main dc area like that's hundred thousand dollars but think about it is this happiness or is this just about money if it's just about money trust me unless you're lucky and you're making money and you're happy good that's good for you and i'm happy for you but you know the study is done that, that a lot of people say that when they have average money they're looking for happiness more than money it's not about just money now you know so don't don't always think about this my friend got a hundred thousand dollars because he did aws something certification so i'm gonna do that and i'm gonna get hundred thousand dollars also you probably get it but maybe you don't like it after that maybe you'll spend some years and that's stress because after you'll find out that you spent some years and this money was not worth it because you bought more things and i'm not gonna go into that but i'm just saying like you know it's it's not just that you have to combine everything are you happy do you have free time are you enjoying you're going out with your friends and that is kind of the things that you need to work on and then you will decide trust me after that after doing all this calculation you'll find out that do you want to move do you uh, after doing that if you find everything is the balance is you know like this or this then you will decide that you want to move or do you want to stay in this company all that will uh, come to its own uh, place so like I said at the end I mean this might be totally uh, unacceptable uh, you know suggestion to a lot of people maybe it work maybe it will work for you maybe not so thank you for being part of this platform jobscashare.org um, and this behind me is the studio this is where I sit talk and I sing my songs right here and um, sometimes sometimes I probably will you know uh, release my song to you guys and maybe I'll become a famous person and then I'll make that one million dollars I'll share with you guys thank you